We would now like to outline the medical and surgical risks of kidney donation. We have included the most serious risks and the most common side effects, but this is not a complete list of all potential complications. While there is a risk of death from kidney donation, it is very rare. The donor will have scars after surgery. There is also a risk that the donor could develop a hernia, which is when the weakened abdominal muscles causes a pocket of fat or intestine to pop through the muscles. We ask donors to limit lifting and twisting for six weeks after surgery to allow the abdominal muscles to heal and minimize the chance of developing a hernia. There is also a risk of developing an infection at the incision site. The donor is asked to shower using an antibacterial soap for a few days before surgery and to avoid bathing or swimming for two to four weeks after surgery to minimize the chance of developing a wound infection. During the donation surgery, some gas is pumped into the donor's abdomen to give a better view to remove the kidney. Most of the gas escapes after the surgery is complete, but a small amount remaining can cause bloating or shoulder pain afterwards. Nausea is another common side effect, and walking after surgery can help with both of these symptoms. In extreme cases, these side effects could lead to a bowel obstruction, which happens when something blocks your bowels, preventing it from passing through normally. This may require additional treatment, including surgery. The donor may experience acute kidney injury and require dialysis or transplant themselves, but this is incredibly rare. Age, obesity, high blood pressure, or other donor-specific conditions can increase the risk of illness or death, but if the donor team feels that a candidate is at particularly high risk, the candidate would be ineligible to donate. Even though kidney donors are donating about half their overall kidney tissue, on average, donors experience a permanent loss of 25 to 35% of their total kidney function after donation. The remaining kidney will increase its filtering to make up for being the only kidney. Sometimes donors may see that their kidney labs are abnormal, but this is due to only having one kidney and doesn't mean you have kidney disease. Although donors are not automatically at a higher risk of developing kidney disease when compared to the general population, they are at a slightly increased risk of kidney disease when compared to patients who were determined to be healthy enough to donate, but who did not actually go on to donate a kidney. We still feel that the risk is low enough that kidney donation is safe. Some donors opt to follow up with a nephrologist. In addition to the previously mentioned medical and surgical risks associated with kidney donation, there are risks specific to each transplant center. The Scientific Registry of Transplant Recipients, or SRTR, publishes data every six months showing the survival of the donor graft or the transplanted kidney in the recipient. And the recipient survival at one month and one year after transplant. When you come to Mass General for your initial evaluation, you will receive the most recent SRTR data for Mass General, as well as an expected survival and nationwide survival for comparison. If during your evaluation, new SRTR data is released, you will receive the updated numbers. If you donate through the paired exchange, you will also receive the SRTR data for the recipient transplant center. 
Based on the most recent SRTR data, Mass General is a Medicare-approved transplant center. Thank you.